everybody see uh, my screen? Yes, we're good. Okay, great. So, um, just uh, wanted to um, uh, update on um, RTE, and hopefully we can get during the meeting to some conclusion on actually move it over to ISG. So, um, we had Arch 05 um, <clears throat> working group last call at ITF 106, um, and uh, I think we had all the active working group members chime in to the last call finally uh, to, uh, you know, um, successfully finish the last call. And then um, Lou uh, chimed into the discussion and uh, raised concerns about um, uh, not including the uh, full traffic engineering components or description. So I, uh, I, I, I forked off uh, 06. Um, where I added section 1.2 explaining the relationship to traffic engineering architecture, changed the name to beer, uh, path engineering to distinguish it from overall traffic engineering. Um, and um, then also the, the long overdue specification just called a controller, BRTE controller. Um, but then there was uh, the concern that path engineering would be a new term um, that, that Lou raised and uh, um, then he also suggested to bring in new text of, uh, about traffic engineering. Deborah was concerned about consistency of terminology, so we've got some abbreviations, and um, that doesn't seem to be well maintained. So basically, we didn't have what I would consider, you know, a technical, but mostly, you know, a terminology and uh, you know, context setting discussion. Um, so. Uh, then, you know, because it seemed like uh, we couldn't simply come up with a name that would make everybody happy, we initiated, uh, you know, a, a, a choice for, for the names. Greg supposed to, uh, proposed to call it Beer Tree Engineering, which, uh, you know, almost everybody in the working group chimed in and supported. I didn't really dare to do it because it also says TE, but I really think technically it's the best term because that's effectively what this protocol does, it does do engineer trees. It doesn't itself, you know, um, care for the resource allocation along the tree. It just, you know, does this, this steering for a tree. Um, so that's now in um, the current Arch 07 um, that was submitted before the IETF deadline. I removed the section 1.2 according to, to Lou. He didn't like that. Um, I, I just added an explanatory section for readers. Um, explain the choice of the name um, and I removed, you know, um, path engineering or other terms from the explanatory text and just use the, you know, replication and steering, which were the terms that Lou uh, was suggesting uh, to stay in line with the, you know, similar explanations, I guess, in um, segment routing to which I think this is very easily comparable. So up until I guess uh, 30 minutes ago, there was no text from Lou. <laughs> I was just uh, starting to read through it. Thank you very much, Lou. Um, so, um, and I guess hopefully Lou is still on the call. He said he's double booked, but uh, I wanted to quickly finish this up with um, the, uh, the traffic engineering uh, view from my understanding, right? So I didn't really find an official crisp definition in uh, the chart or any of the documents. Um, from what the folks I asked, they said was that it was pretty much derived from, you know, what RSVPT is practically doing, um, and that is really explicit path setup and bandwidth rep uh, reservations, maybe FR mechanisms, but uh, so far, for example, there hasn't seemingly been in TS or in PCE something about the real latency buffer reservations that would be required for DeadNet. So. You know, something like a very crisp definition of what we really call traffic engineering, what's optional, what's mandatory would really help me a lot. Um, why do I think this is this document is not best called traffic engineering? Because it's really just a component of it, right? In the same way as segment routing would only be a component of traffic engineering and the rest would come through the controller. Um, and and also, and this is to the last point of the slide, I think you know, from the last 20 years of multicast, we've got a little bit of a different in experience of how customers really have done traffic engineering um, to the extent, you know, that I'm still not 100% sure 
I'm using traffic engineering 100% correctly, but um, because we never had explicit steering um, of, of traffic in multicast um, before, let's say RSVPT point to multipoint, which has very rarely been used, but um, customers still try to do, you know, um, good bandwidth management. There has been a lot of use of, for example, multi topologies in IGPs um, or just, you know, um, hop by hop uh, route steering with, uh, with standard multicast in the same way. If that's an acceptable mechanism, um, and today we have, you know, I think a very good framework for these multi topologies called the flex topologies, um, then in the same way, I would say for an overall beer traffic engineering architecture, you know, um, not only beer TE could be used, which I think obviously is the best option, but also simply beer combined with uh, flex topologies. And so that was kind of a little bit of the goal of the T's. Um, framework document for traffic engineering with with beer that we would lay out, you know, both of the beer options, um, explaining how they differ for, you know, how well they can support traffic engineering, and then also the other components like, you know, what the controller would need to do, what, for example, if you want to guarantee latency, some orthogonal mechanism like, um, well, the large scale deterministic network mechanisms we proposed in that net would need to do, right? So traffic engineering is combining beer tree engineering together with other mechanisms. And um, so that was a little bit my best understanding, um, but hopefully uh, Lou can chime in here. Um, so, right, what, what, what can we do now or what should we do now? Um, I'm not sure what the working group here could do further, right? I think we haven't really changed uh, technical aspects of ERT in the last two years. Uh, we've, I think, exhausted now all the great feedback to help improve the text quality. Thank you very much for everybody. Um, and so, you know, I'd just like uh, to pass the draft scene to, to the ISG for ITF and ISG review. So that's what I had written, right? So now. Again, um, Lou has added a uh, proposed text. Um, Lou's here. I'd, I'd love him to chime in. But I'm not sure. So, uh, let's see. Am I, uh, 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 am I muted? Am I not muted? Can you hear me? Muted. You're good. So, I'm trying to, I'm taking notes as well as trying to follow along. Are you suggesting that we write a TE framework document that then defines all this stuff within our group that then conforms with whatever redefinitions and re history writings taking place elsewhere? Oh, no, of course not. Remember uh, when Alia was trying to bring sanity to you know the group uh, zoo that we have? She was very clear. No group. Hang on, stop up, stop. Torles, be specific. What group was she working on? What do you mean? Alia is as the AD for beer. Here. Thank you. The beer working group. Okay, go on. So, she was so our AD working. was basically as part of the second charter round, um, uh -huh. trying to bring sanity into you know what beer should focus on and what should be done rather in the in the specialized working groups for it. Like you know, I if I remember correctly, further extensions in IGPs should be done in LSR and traffic engineering architecture that go beyond the actual tree building should be done in T's. So already two years ago, I put an initial version of that framework into TEAS, educated the working group to it so that if they're interested to discuss the actual tree building, they could do it in beer, but the follow-up work for the whole framework or so would logically be in TEAS because it doesn't affect the tree building anymore. It would be queuing mechanisms, it would be controller mechanisms, whatever else it is. And which working group is this again? I'm having trouble hearing. It's it's like beer, but just without the alcohol. T E A S. Ah, got it. All right. As in the traffic engineering architecture working group. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. That makes sense. All right. I mean, Lou. So, what's the take here? Uh, would T's accept such an architecture draft? If there's <clears throat> sufficient interest in the working group, sure. And if there's not, <clears throat> we can coordinate with the uh, ADs and have it done in, in this working group if it wants to be done. But it should be done with some coordination. Okay. What's the read on temperature there? Is there interest or there's no interest? 
don't not sure i really don't know well it, it, i don't think it's an interest as much as it's a requirement right if, if they're going to stand on this thing in the IESGQ because of terminology and that's their procedure and process for us to clarify we're going to be stuck doing that um, i don't think that there necessarily has to be dependency right i think um beer te as the tree building mechanism that we have here i think shouldn't have any dependency against building a whole traffic engineering architecture around it right i agree i agree completely the question isn't technical the question is procedural right stand on it and say they're not going to let it fly unless it syncs with their redefinitions of terms we're going to be stuck um but let, let's it's in the queue right now i think you've done a great job clarifying all that um just in full disclosure my suggestion of TE meaning tree engineering, which I thought made a lot of sense, ruffled lots of feathers over there. Apparently, I wasn't playing nice. I don't get it. I was just following technical terms, and it makes a shitload of sense, as you mentioned, Torlis. I think you've defined that clearly. Um, so, a warning: they may still block it. I don't know. Let's 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 push it. I, I my suggestion is let's continue what with what we have, with what you've done, and let's see what we get from the queue. Sense, or you think there's more to do? So I, I, I think Lou raised the concern, right? So, and um, I was trying to explain through the text that he didn't like um, that I withdrew um, how basically, you know, ultimately it, it, it makes a lot of sense to say there is beer tree engineering. That's the term that the working group has come up. It stands on its own. It can be used, you know, by itself with what we specified here. Or, or it can be added uh, with the resource management that typically comes along um, with uh, the traffic engineering for the bandwidth, hopefully also for, for the latency, for the queuing. Torres, Torres, I, I agree with that. Is that in the latest document? Is there something that stands in the queue for them to read and understand? Or do we have to talk to people each time? So again, this was section one or two, which Lou didn't like. He is proposing to have similar text. I'm just sharing this on the screen here. I'm on the call if you'd like me to speak. I'm trying to be in queue, uh, but you know, it, okay, it, it's good, okay good. if you guys don't want me to talk, but well, you know. I'm sorry, I think we didn't the, just look the at the queue, queue please. You know, there's, a, there's a queue and, um, you know, but you know, how, I don't know, this is a definitely a non-standard working group meeting, even interim. So, you know, you guys tell me how you want to run it. Sorry, what was the complaint? There's lots of people talking over each other. I don't see a queue that even can step into. So, all right. Uh, so I'll I'll manage the queue. So Lou is in the queue, and otherwise, either put the plus queue on the chat or uh, speak up that you queue up. Lou, first. So um, the the issue that I raised was that. The draft is called TE traffic engineering without defining anything related to traffic engineering. And I stated a personal preference in my initial mail saying that I, sorry, the initial mail to the, the public mail that I would love for it to include that text, but that's a personal statement. Um, as the, the co chair of T's, you know, if you're going to use the TE term, you have to use the TE term properly. Uh, that was my complaint. I'll also note that it is in your charter to define beer traffic engineering, not some other term, but that's what's in the charter. So, you know, from my per my perspective, I think you should define beer traffic engineering and what it is and the forwarding mechanisms for it. And that's what's in the charter. You should follow through with, the, with your charter. Um, I suggested that it wouldn't be that hard to take the current document and do that. And in fact, it add some text. Yes, it's, I'd say it's probably a month later than I said I would get it out, but, you know, I think everyone can understand that these are not normal times. Um, so, from, from my standpoint, I think you should follow through with what's in your charter, define the forwarding plane mechanisms for beer traffic engineering. Um, if you don't want to do that, that's between you and your AD. I don't think you should call something BRTE unless it does that. Um, you know, the, uh, other working groups like Spring have defined uh, similar mechanisms. We've had similar conversation. They came up with another term. If you don't want to define traffic engineering, I'd say don't introduce a new term. Use that. Use the term that they're using. Uh, path steering is is old. Policy based routing is a older term. Um, they've chosen to use that older term. I think it you 
know, in the, uh, some of the original um, internet RFCs, you can even find the term policy-based routing or policy routing. So, you know, if, if you don't want to define TE in this group, that's fine. Um, but, you know, call it policy routing because that's what other working groups are doing and that's consistent with the uh, history. Well, this, this is Greg as an individual contributor. Um, the, the charter was written back when traffic, when beer TE was beer traffic engineering. So the charter reflects the terms of the time. Uh, the pushback came externally and we had to change the terms. So logically, it sounds like that would possibly change the charter too if we followed through with that process. So either way could be taken. Uh, and in terms of uh, policy routing, this, this is not a routing at all. This is just simply forwarding. It doesn't really fit into other unicast mechanisms at all. So yeah, I think you're right. And there should be an overall arch where this fits into what is now being defined as TE. But uh, I think, again, our charter reflects a history that has changed considerably. Okay, feedback from my side. So, uh, observing the discussion, uh, it seems that the term traffic engineering itself is not well defined. Unless there's a clear definition they can comply to or be uh, basically told that they fall out of the definition, uh, I consider basically that people squat on the term. Right? You can't ask people to comply to something that is not well defined. Uh, there is an RFC on, on the term and the principles. It's uh, RFC 3272. Um, there is a this document going on because there have been other complaints that it's not well defined enough. Um, so we have a this that we're trying to improve the definition. Um, you know, in terms of term squatting, you know, every SDO has its own terms that it tries to use consistently. You know, MPLS is one, IGP is one, IP is another one. You know, I think SDOs tend to be pretty sensitive to redefinition of their own terms. We're within the IETF. You know, TEAS is an IETF working group. You know, if you want to um, also change your charter, move away from traffic engineering, I think that's a fine discussion at the IESG level. I don't really want to participate in that. You know, there's an AD on the line that he can comment on that. Um, but you know, I, I really don't think we're talking a whole lot of text to get you there. And uh, I've sent I've sent some suggestions for this document. Um, my personal suggestion: This isn't, as, you know, the chair or as, uh, you know, I can't speak to anyone in the ISG whether they'll agree with my proposal. But, uh, you know, my proposal is include that, call it beer traffic engineering forwarding, and be done with it. I think I think given how the um, the the beer, you know, um, pre engineering. That, that we're defining here was the intent of what the working group wanted to do and not uh, staff beyond it. Um, and at that point in time, it was called traffic engineering. I would agree with um, Greg that, uh, you know, we're very much uh, right now within our charter scope. There was just a renaming. I think the renaming helps to distinguish, um, you know, what we're doing here from a full traffic engineering solution. And I think that distinction should be made very clear. Um, and I think that uh, where, you know, if or where a full traffic engineering would be done um, is subject to, as you said, uh, whether Tease likes it or whether Beer likes it, that's a separate discussion that should go through that framework document. The text that you're suggesting here, you know, um, I've, I've, I've tried to read it here in parallel. The main issue really is that um, like in segment routing, the whole idea is to be lightweight in the forwarding plane. I, and so um, these traditional mechanisms that you're referring to, to have for every flow, for every hop, let's say a separate queue or, you know, uh, internally regulator or these things, right? Those are actually open research issues. Um, you know, what we've proposed um, into DeadNet um, to, to uh, reduce the overhead net card. So that would clearly be something which, you know, if we wanted to stick to the lightweightness of beer with these mechanisms is, I think, you know, a much longer effort. So I, I think it's not unreasonable to make sure that uh, we can pass on uh, beer uh, tea tree engineering here with that name so that it doesn't get encumbered with all of that. Per, per flow state is per completely optional in traffic engineering and always has been. 
Well, but you, you, you say this here, right? Example resources include buffers, policing, rate shaping mechanisms that are supported by it's the queuing hosts. Mm -hmm. Right above where you're highlighting, it's a may. In, in, in right. many traffic yeah. engineering implementations in the field in the wild today, it's only on the control plane, it's only accounting. Yeah. Now, they're certainly true that some networks care very much about uh, queuing mechanisms, but many don't. No, no, I but, you know, I, I wrote similar, I, I, I felt I wrote fairly similar text in 1.2 in uh, version 06, which you rejected, um, but without, you know, going into details of explanation. And I was especially, you know, referring to mechanisms to do it statelessly, you know, as an informational stuff. And I, I would have loved to see more specific opinion of, from you because, um, you know, if, if such a text is added here, um, I think it would be lovely to to also include suggestions of the options that maintain the stateless nature, right? So that's that's basically what I would primarily be asking you if there is any reason to not do that. I mean, I mean, I'd have to see the specific text in response to this, and but you know, I think that's a completely reasonable uh, way to go, and you know, we can try that on list. You know, we can try discussing the the text on list. Well, I had this. Let me bring up the O six. Um, I think right. we're maybe running out of time. No, no, it's, it's okay. We have time. But uh, here's, here's a rough framework that I see that you gentlemen have to agree on. I'm, I'm getting Lou's point, I'm getting Tola's point, and I'm getting also um, Greg's point, you know, that the terms then were, uh, when the charter was defined, were slung around slightly loosely. So I think the first question is whether the 3272 is a binding definition of traffic engineering. It's an informational draft. It's fairly comprehensive. I see loose point that if you want to, uh, to, if this is the binding definition and you want to call this thing traffic engineering, then you have to at least explain which parts of that traffic engineering concept you address or you don't address, right? So that, that needs text. You can just slice, take a small slice and call it traffic engineering. Um, so, so that I think is what has to be uh, uh, agreed on at the meta level. If 3272 is not binding, then there is basically no definition of term traffic engineering that I saw, and you can call anything traffic engineering. Uh, my my proposal would be to um, basically include the text that Lou has done with hopefully minimal, you know, extension. Uh, that is basically the traffic engine. That's basically what I had in 1.1. But basically, keep this document called tree engineering and make it clear through that text that you know this beer tree engineering is a possible part in an overall beer traffic engineering solution. I think you know um, Lou's text is is very good for explaining um, that relationship, um, and uh, I think by having different names, it's much easier to distinguish uh, between them, right? Especially highlighting that beer tree engineering itself doesn't have to be a whole, you know, a, a traffic engineering solution. But that, that's an option. I think that's a, that's a pretty uh, productive suggestion. Lou, you think that is a path we should progress along? So basically take the 3272, which you suggest seems with the text as the binding definition, and then have in the tree engineering draft explain which slice of the traffic uh, uh, traffic engineering that addresses and what are the restrictions in you know in the full traffic engineering framework yeah i think i think pursuing the the modified text is um uh, reasonable and something we can certainly do on list um i think uh um acronym uh overload or or you know tla overload is a bad thing I think that it, I'll, I'll defer to the IESG of whether they want to allow a redefinition of something that's a um, pretty old and understood term in uh, 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 or understood expansion of uh, the letters TE in the IETF. Um, you know, I, I, I think personally, I think it would be pretty obvious that I think having that redefinition is a very bad idea, just like renaming IP or MPLS or OAM would be a very bad idea. Um, but, you know, then Every we defer to the, we, I'll defer to the IESG to have that conversation. I mean, I don't think we would ever be using, you know, TE for tree engineering outside the scope of, you know, beer TE, right? So, 
the prefix alone, you know, it's 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 not as if we're coming in and redefining and the same like, discussion. We had exactly the same discussion with SRTE and came, you know, through the IESG, we ended up saying, you know, you can't call it unless you're doing traffic engineering, you can't call it TE. We did the same thing, had the same argument and discussion with uh, with 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 SR. Um, I would I really wasn't uh, involved in that discussion very much, um, you know, so I would expect that the discussion end up the same way. Uh, but, you know, that, that that's for you guys to go fight. Um, I think it's a much better thing just to make it, it. It's not hard to make this traffic engineering. Let's just do it. No, I don't. I don't think that's true. Right. I think that, you know, I'd rather have at the end of an ISG review, they uh, they force us to call it, let's say, a beer uh, PR, right, for a uh, Better public relations for, or sorry, uh, uh, path routing like or path like theory or something. Public relations, that's great. I, I actually like it. <laughs> path routing or whatever they want, right? Because you know, to me, architecturally, it's much clearer to say, beer te is an you know larger architecture which can use this beer, as I still right now called uh, tr uh, tree engineering, right? Um, why not make again, I don't think we can if make if you're, if you if you're happy with PR, why not just go with it now and then we no, can because move on. I went through the process of asking the working group. We have made a working group uh, choice on that. So I don't think that on the naming uh, it makes sense to regurgitate multiple times, right? Um, so if if the IESG wants to force something on us on the naming, let's have them do it at their point in time. I think the working group has made a choice. Um, and, and I don't really care about naming by now, right? So I, I, I think you want us to do a, you know, a, the same beauty contest in the T's working group and ask and see what people think. I mean, is that just one working group that, I, I, well, that's fine. Sure. Go that, ahead. That, that, Go, no, no, that's fine. We know, we know we're going to have the argument in the, in the IESG. Let me, if, if you guys, as I, group, and, and the ITF, that, right? that's fine. If, if we, if, if we finish the last call after we've, you know, agreed on you, you know your section that i'm going to you know adopt and hopefully you can try to get feedback a, a little bit faster now um on that one um so and then we basically pass the 08 to the uh um to the itf right is, is and then they they can you know go over the naming as long as they want i don't care is, is that good at that point in time it would you know, you can raise it again in T's. There was no I other. Think, I think the use of the term beer TE to represent something other than beer traffic engineering is inconsistent with your charter and is inconsistent with um, how the IETF uses the term TE. I don't think it's a good idea. Well, but again, right now here is just the abbreviation, which is overloaded. 25% of official IT abbreviations are overloaded. SR means sender report, not source routing, not segment routing, right? It's an overloaded abbreviation. And we all like tree engineering. It's a great term for this type of tree building. The fact that the abbreviation TE is overloaded has nothing to do with this claiming to be traffic engineering. It's not claiming to be traffic engineering. It's claiming it's usable for traffic engineering. Do we have an AD on the, do we have another AD on the call? Does the AD want to say anything? You know, I prefer it when the working group takes care of all their issues. So, um, I, I, um, so I think that terminology is very important. And, um, if you're, I've ever reviewed one of your documents, um, you know, I want you to be consistent and specific and clear and you know, all those things. Um, I tend to not necessarily agree, but worry a little bit about the overload um, of the term, because I mean, clearly everyone's going to forget tomorrow that your TE is not traffic engineering, that it means something else. Um, now, having said that, uh, Lou, you mentioned something about SRTE not being SRTE, um, being something else, um, because the AAG said so. <laughs> Um, as far as I can remember, just to be clear, there, there, the SR policy document was originally called SRTE, and it's now called SR policy. Yes. So what I was going to say is that there wasn't a an IESG discussion about that. Um, I am not the Spring 
ADD. Um, but I think that you know, it had to do probably with the overloading. So one thing that I need to obviously do is since Deborah had was the one who brought up the one of the issues as well, right? Was concerned about this and she's not on the line to say something. Um, I want to talk to her and talk to Martin, who's the AD for spring, so that we can have a consistent, right, from what I said at the beginning, right? We need to be consistent in terminology and everything else. Um, I understand the point that Greg made and others made around the intent or what may have been intended. Um, I, of course, wasn't the AD of beer at that time either, um, of what may have been intended um, in the charter to talk about. So we can figure that out. Uh, we can, I don't know, look at the history, revisit whatever, and, and figure that out. Uh, but the most important part is going to be the consistency. Um, I don't hear, and this is not a call for me to make, but I don't hear a lot of enthusiasm to go to what Lou, I think, is calling the full traffic engineering solution in this draft um, and leave it as tree engineering is what I hear from the working group. Of course, that's uh, Greg and uh, Tony's call. Um, if that is what the working group wants to do, then uh, you know, we can figure the rest out, uh, as you guys say, in the AEG, which means um, I would go and, uh, as I said before, figure out what the consistent way of moving forward is with the other routing entities. As far as term, con th th thank you, Albro. I mean, as far as the term consistency is concerned, it's would just be lovely if there was, you know, equal treatment, right? I mean, given how many, you know, terms are overloaded, that SR isn't even listed in, in the list of official ITF abbreviations. I think we're doing a lot of brouhaha here, which, you know, I haven't seen on any other place in the ITF. So, let's see. Can I ask a question? Sorry, can I ask a question? Um, could anyone, uh, uh, would anyone not be able to live with the term, um, uh, PR? Or, or any other, right? Tree steer. No, no, no I'm asking example. specifically. Or, or P, yeah. uh, you know, can we, can you live with path steering or path route? What was your PR definition? I'm sorry, I forgot. I, I got stuck on. Uh, I'm, I'm actually quite annoyed of, you know, multicast always having to you reuse, you know, what I think to every multicast person could be confusable terms um, from unicast. Right? We have trees. We don't only have path, right? So something with tree in it is actually lovely. So if we had to change it, I would probably use something like tree steering or, or what, whatever else with tree in it. You right? know, so, trees? How, this, this is Greg again as an individual. Um, it, what we're trying to do is, number one, create a document that's clear and consistent and can be used for implementation. Tree engineering makes sense. Within the constraints of that document, even if you knew everything about traffic engineering or knew nothing about traffic engineering, this makes sense. To chop up these terms and make them obscure to help some external perception of comprehension just seems crazy. Um, we are literally engineering a tree in the header of a packet based on nothing that's routing and nothing unicast related. As Torres pointed out, this is multicast, it's multi-point. We've had decades of trying to shove our terms or borrow terms from unicast that never made sense. Right? And we've got we got shitty technologies that are built on these previous expectations. We're starting clean here, completely clean. And it's a tree that we've engineered. It just makes sense. If we call it trees, what are we doing with the trees? Just if you have a new consistent uh, definition for us, I'm more than happy to take it. But making it less clear is not helping. So. Okay, gentlemen, I think we have to slowly cut off the stuff. Sorry to be the grown up. We are like five minutes before the hour on a 10 minute presentation. Um, I think the action items here would be that um, um, that has to be resolved in AD ISG level. Um, 
I'm sympathetic to Lou's point. You know, if we start to talk about resource reservation, right, all of a sudden we took the TE, right? And uh, what do we do then? Uh, on the other hand, yes, the tree engineering seems to be a completely consistent term for what this thing is. Um, I don't think we'll close the discussion here today. List and I would say ISG and AD. Okay. Greg, you okay with that? I'm typing. Uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, I think we'll let um, we'll well, like, well, well, the process is concerned question. Um, so I can do an 08 uh, with, you know, uh, hear feedback from, from, from Lou on that. Um, and then we pass it on to I, ITF and, and let ISG deal with it. Or what's, what's your, your plan? I, that's what I would take. Our formal process is that the ones we sign the stuff as, as working group, we, we bounce it off to ISG reviews, and then the discussion happens in their context, which is wider, right? Yes. I do think that loose text has a lot of uh, value, uh, just as, you know, outlining how that re relates and which piece of the overall uh, traffic engineering architecture that addresses or not. But that cannot hurt at all, already as guidance to the ISG. And then we see how that plays out there. I'll, I'll I'll do a, an 08, uh, dis discuss it with Lou, and then uh, um, please 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 send it forward. Let's have the discussion on the list, please. Yeah, of course. And thank you. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Torlis. Appreciate it. Thanks. So I think Stig is next. Uh, yeah, I'm ready here. Um, just make me a presenter and I can start sharing. Yeah, I need to get the, the ball. No presenter. Okay, great. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So hopefully you see my slides now. So just a very quick update. So um, the MLD draft uh, in the last ITF, I was talking about this is the same slide I used last ITF. Um, so basically, uh, for PIM overlay, we decided that it would be good to have information about the, the sender of the message encoded in the message itself so that we know the B prefix, B for ID, and subdomain. And we decided that we wanted to do the same for IGMP and MLD as well. Um, so last night, Jeff, I presented this proposal in the PIM working group for extending IGMP and MLD. And that has now been adopted. Uh, that's the draft ITF PIM IGMP MLD extension. The initial version of that draft did describe not just how to extend IGMP MLD, but also the actual beer extension. But as we discussed last time, uh, it's better to have that extension in, in this draft, in a beer working group draft. So the new, what is new is that PIM has adopted this draft that only discusses the extension mechanism itself. And then in this draft, I have now decided, and um, I have now described this extension here. So this is uh, up to us in beer to, to decide. Um, so what's next? Um, in the PIM working group, you're meeting a week from now. I hope many of you can, or all of you can join the PIM working group. Um, we will discuss uh, the PIM draft. <clears throat> uh, one thing that we might have to discuss is whether the extension should be like a TLV mechanism where you can have multiple extensions or just a single extension type, which is now in the draft. But I hope we can conclude quickly in the PIM working group. And here in BEER, um, I don't think there is much 
to discuss um, <clears throat> hopefully you agree with the format of this option um, we're trying to have a al alignment um, for the bit alignment otherwise there isn't really much going on here um, and that's the the last thing that I at least uh, think we need to do in the this draft before we can go to last call. Uh, but we need the uh, PIM. Yeah. A quick observation, having read the draft fairly carefully this time, uh, because it's so far cooked. Um, why don't you provide for multiple BFR prefixes? Because I was already seeing that the architecture is not very clear whether there's only one BFR prefix allowed per router. So either we advertise the stuff multiple times, or we, advertise, uh, we, we uh, it, it would be possibly Good future proof to allow multiple BFR prefixes in this uh, theory. Um, okay. Um, you already have the problem if you have a V4 and a V6 prefix, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so two things. Uh, I mean, I don't mind doing that, um, but I'm, at least my thinking was that you uniquely need to this, you know, you need to know uniquely who who was sending this, like identify the router that sent it, and to do that, it should be enough to have a single prefix. Um, but if you think it's useful to, I mean, isn't the learn other prefixes as well? Already giving you a unique uh, who is originated that. I'm basically thinking along the lines of you know, things like V6 encapsulation coming in and people running V4 prefixes at the same time and so on. I'm not saying okay. it must be done. I'm just, I was just looking architecturally what we're doing and you know, how people are deploying and what kind of tricks. Okay. And I realized that okay. one prefix uh, I mean, is stumble us over. Right. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's uh, think about that. So one option is to just allow multiple prefixes in this option. Uh, another thing we could potentially do is if PIM decides to do a TLD-based mechanism, it could add, you know, two uh, multiple of these types if you wanted to. Of course, of course. Um, so uh, that's my only observation. Thanks. Uh, okay, sure. Thanks. Yeah, so I think um, yeah, I'm happy for any any comments I can get. Uh, uh, otherwise, I would say uh, yeah, mostly waiting for the team working group to to decide exactly what the general extension mechanism can look like, and then based on that, we have to decide, you know, whether. Well, one thing is we may have to change this option into being a TLV kind of thing if that's necessary, and we need to decide. Um, yeah, if you want to allow multiple prefixes here. Uh, one thing I maybe realized a little bit is what about address family? Um, you know, should we just assume that if we get an IGMP message, then the address family or the view prefix will always be a V4 and the same, you know, V6 if it's MLD, or is it better to actually encode address family here? I think for PIM at least the decision was to just say that the, um, if I remember correctly, that it matches the um, the, the message header. But uh, it could be useful to have that flexibility, perhaps. All right. Any more comments? Yeah, I think I'm probably done then. Okay, so I think we have to... All right, thanks. Yes, thanks, thanks, Dick. No further comments, yeah. all right. Thanks, Dick. Um, yeah, so okay. We're at the top of the hour on a 30-minute meeting going into a subject that's going to require lots of discussion on a draft that just got revved. So what I'd like to propose, and we'll get a, a sense of the room here before we move on, I would like to have this discussion. 
but I would like everyone to be prepared for it. And I would like a time slot carved out where we, we're not pushed against the wall and we can openly discuss without those time barriers. So my suggestion would be, let's move this to an interim. Even, you know, let's wait till the rest of the working groups for the 107 remote are kind of fizzling out and we'll schedule one out in a couple of weeks where we can have an interim working group meeting just to discuss the V6 rec draft. Does that sound reasonable or do you want to continue today? And I concur, given already that I have an important 9 a.m. I'm missing. Right, there we go. Okay. I, I was afraid that was happening already and kind of forcing us into that. Jing Grong, are you okay with that? I mean, I'm sorry for dumping this, but you know, we we wedged you in right here at the last. We pushed another 30 minutes and we're still against the wall. I'm hoping you would see if we dedicated a an interim just to that draft that we'd have a better discussion and a better opportunity for you to, you know, express your case. Sound reasonable? Uh, okay. Okay. Wow. Anyone else have feedback on that? Any more input? Uh, everyone's muted. Can someone just say yes or no? Yeah. I. It sounds good to me. Uh, I would like to read the draft again myself. Perfect. I haven't had time to do it. I was just, just telling my here. mute button that it would be great if all the interested parties in this would remind the uh, working group before the meeting to read the material so that we'll have an informed discussion. <laughs> Wait a minute, reading? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so uh, time to conclude, I think. Uh, we have notes with blue sheet. Anybody check whether the blue sheet looks presentable now? Um, uh, what do I do with the recording? Went to the cloud. Greg, it's automatically on the cloud now, and then it's... yeah, one of us will get email that that happened, um, okay. or we can log back in and find it, and then I can just post it up there into Data Tracker. Okay. Anything else outstanding? Last comments. All right, we're done for the day. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for uh, yeah. giving us yeah. here. Cheers. Yes. Thanks. Later. Oh, and Greg, send out the minutes. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have to invite you. Right. Thank you.